All right, um, this video is going to go over surface area of some 3D shapes, specifically, uh, oh, that was not supposed to happen. Um, so specifically prisms and pyramids is what we're going to look at in this video. Our essential question um, for this video is going to be how can we determine the surface area for prisms and pyramids. All right, before we get into that, we're going to talk a little bit um, about surface area. Um, so just kind of reminding ourselves surface area um, is the amount of space outside an object. So it's not how much space the object takes up. That's volume. This is specifically talking about this, you know, how much space there's outside of it. Um, to find the surface area of an object, and then we're going to do this for all, um, all of our prisms and pyramids. What you're going to do, you need to find the area for each face. And we'll talk about, you know, what is a face. And then the second step is just add all the areas together. Um, so, like I said, so these notes we're going to review. Um, there's three shapes we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at a um, rectangular prism. That's supposed to be in you know, a rectangular prism. We have a triangular prism. Ah. And then we have um, pyramids, and we're actually going to look at two pyramids. Okay. So, surface area for the rectangular uh, prism. In a rectangular prism, I have six sides. Okay. Um, they, you could potentially have them all be, uh, you know, the same size. It could be like a cube, um, or they could all be, you know, they could be different, um, like this one right here. So I'm going to look. I've got six sides, or what I'm also going to call six faces. All right, and I'm going to find the area of each face. So I'm going to look at this top guy right up here, okay? I'm going to use these measurements. I'm going to notice this is three. That means this is three. Um, this is five, so this is five. So this top guy, okay, is a three by five, which makes it 15 in total right there. I've got this front face, which is a five by six. That makes that guy 30. I've got this guy over here, which I can see is three times six, which is 18. Okay, those are all kind of the ones facing me. And I also got ones in the back. So, I've got this back I'm going to make in a different color. Okay, that is also same as this one up front. These two are identical. So this is another 3 times 6. Um, I've got one back here. That's the same as this guy up front. So this guy back here is... Same as this one with five times six. Okay. And then just like I have one on the top, I have one on the bottom. 
So it matches this guy 3 times 5, which is 15. So here are my six different sides. And then all I got to do is just add them all up together. So if I just go through 15, 15, 30, 30, 18, 18, I get 126. And this is um, surface area, right? If it is an area, so I'm going to use inches squared. All right, now when we have a rectangular prism, um, a rectangular prism, there's only five sides or five faces to this guy, okay? And this one, uh, more so than the rectangular prism, you really need to kind of um, figure out and match each side. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently than I did in the last problem. I'm gonna say, okay, I've got um, this rectangle right here, this blue rectangle. So I know I have a six by four blue rectangle, um, which if I find the area of that guy gives me 24. I got this green rectangle, okay? And sometimes they can be the same, sometimes they're not. So you really need to look, if I look this green rectangle, this is, also six, just like this guy, but it's not a six by four, now it's a six by three. So I have a six by three rectangle, okay? I also have a rectangle on the back, right? I've got a rectangle back there, which is a six by five. So in a triangular prism, I have three rectangles, that was supposed to be an E, and then I have, okay, two triangles. So I have a triangle right there, um, which when I am looking at this triangle, I really wanna find that right angle, make sure I know what the base and height is. So my base is three, my height is four. So I'm gonna do three times four, divide that by two. And then I also have this triangle down here. Again, I know where my right angle is. I know it's a three by four, divide by two, six. So I have two triangles. Those are the five sides to a triangular prism. Again, once I get down here, I just add them all together. So I'm going to add 24 plus 18 plus 30 plus 6 plus 6, and I get 84 meters. Oop, that was not an M squared. That's my final answer. Um, now we're going to look at, um, some pyramids. So there are two pyramid, you know, like I kind of said, there's two, two types of pyramids in there, uh, based on the base. So you have a square pyramid, meaning that the base is a square, or you can have a, um, triangular pyramid. And I'm going to do an example of each. Um, so the first one is our square pyramid. And I know it's a square pyramid because when I look at this base, it's a square. So in a square pyramid, you're going to have a square base. And, and you're going to have triangles, and you're going to have four, uh, four identical triangles. That's what you have here. So let's, again, but the same process as before, you find the area of each, add together. 
So I'm going to find the area of this square base, which I know is going to be 5 by 5. Oop, there we go. Now I'm going to work on, okay, let me find one. Tri I'm going to find the triangle. Again, when I do the triangle, I am looking at base times height. Okay, make sure that you're not using these as a height. Make sure you're actually using, it's called the slant height in the middle. So I've got 5 times 8, divide that by 2. Well, 5 times 8 is 40, divided by 2 uh, makes 20. But I gotta remember, I have four of these triangles. I have four of them. So I really have my base of 25, and then I've got tw or four triangles that are all 20. So when I add all of that up together, I get 105 inches squared. When I do a triangular one, well, a triangular pyramid, it's called triangular because the base is a triangle. So I have a triangle base, and then I have three sides that are also triangles. One thing, though, is they may not be the same triangles, or like the base triangle may not be the same as... Um, Decides. And this one's going to be really important to um, make sure you know everything. Um, and this base is a quad or is, is an equilateral triangle. All right. So the triangle base, I know I'm looking for that right angle. I know the base is 10. The height it's telling me right here is 8.7. It's pointing down there. Okay. So I'm going to do 10 times 8.7 divided by 2. Do not forget to divide by 2 because it's a triangle. Okay. Um, that is going to get me 43.5. Now I'm going to look at this triangle right here. Again, as I said, these are going to be an equilateral triangle. So I know this base is also 10. But the height on this guy is 14. So this is 10 times 14 divided by 2, which is going to give me 70. So I've got a base of 43.5, and then I've got three triangles now of 70. And I know it's three because it's a triangle. Bottom, I can't have um, more than that. So when I add it all together... I get 253.5 meters squared. So, um, that is it for these notes. Let me know what uh, questions you have. If there's any um, of these problems you're like, I don't know how you got that, let me know and we'll talk about it.